So hey guys, this is what the hood looks like. I'm gonna try and uh, strip it. So I've used this stuff before on my wheels. Took off that uh, powder coating real good. Just softens the paint up and then you gotta scrape it. So we'll see how it works on this automotive paint. This has clear and paint and primer. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do this section and see how it works. It says 15 minutes. I tried two different kind of chemical strippers and nothing's doing anything to this paint other than stripping the clear off. This one was $19 a can, the other stuff was $16 a can. Worthless. I'm sanding it with a flapper style, it's called a flap disc. Uh, 36 grit is working. It's taking a while, it's making a lot of dust, so I got a respirator too. It is what it is. It's Thursday and I forgot that it's Memorial Day weekend coming up. Man, I sure would like to get out and go somewhere. I'm thinking about it. I may load up the truck and take off after I finish primering this hood. Let's see. I put a coat of primer on it. I'm gonna sand it right now and see what it looks like. Maybe do it again. Cause uh, what do I know? You know, this is a learn as you go thing. I'm not buying any expensive primers or none of, nothing like that because I don't want to waste my money because, like I said, what do I know, right? The, the most expensive thing was the paint to match the truck. That's automotive paint. For the primer, I'm just using some Rust-Oleum clean metal primer. The issue with that is, I think this can is kind of old because it had all kinds of little chunks in it. And, I shook it, I stirred it, and it still had them. And, well, I learned that there's a strainer you can buy, see? To strain that stuff out. This is what it looks like. I, I did this right here in the shade. There was a little issue with things falling out of the tree, but uh, it's no big deal because I'm going to sand it right now. A light sanding and see what it looks like. Maybe redo it, we'll see. But if I can sand it satisfactorily, it might be ready to go. I might be able to paint it. Alright guys, 114 Thursday and uh man, this body work takes a lot of lot of labor. Yeah, a lot of uh, hand sanded the primer, the first coat. Wet and dry with 800. Got it all nice and smooth. And I could see spots where the primer was thinner and rough spots. And I'm like, man, oh, man, well, let's reprimer it again. And uh, shit, it's gonna have to sit another 24 hours now. And I'll come back and Hopefully just give it the final sand in and a coat of paint. Well guys, it's it's Saturday. Yeah, it's Saturday. Uh, you know it's supposed to be warming up. Not today it's not. But yeah, it's supposed to be warming up during the week I think. It's supposed to be starting hitting hitting triple digits, but we'll see. So I didn't go anywhere. This is it. It's a little overcast this morning. I hear it was overcast at the beach, so why even go to the beach? I'm uh I'm here working on my truck. See I on the Bronco. Yeah. I sanded the primer down with what uh, 600 and then 800 and then shit, let's throw some paint on there, you know. So I it's painted, I don't know how it's gonna come out, we'll see. It's, it is what it is, right? Let's see how my ice is doing, because I think it's time for a cold one. I just got done uh, painting here. Nothing to do now but sit and wait. Sit around and watch the paint dry, right? So let's see. 
There's the ice. It's getting low. So I put it in what Thursday. Thursday afternoon. And yesterday was Friday. Yeah, today's Saturday. Let's crack this open. And it's getting low. So Friday, Saturday. I don't think this is helping much. The temperatures around here aren't even that hot. Chill. Uh, limited edition for 2020. So that's all I'm gonna let you see. Don't tell them that you're just <laughs> we'll see. I might have to sand it again. Who knows, right? Smoky the bar. While the ashes are falling from the smoke that you inhale, there's an old dream to recall or a new one that failed. Should a tear trace your eye? That little JBL was what, $149? Worth every every penny of it. I can play the thing all day on the same charge. It goes plenty loud. It sounds good, you know. Excellent sound quality, you know JBL? Did you know? JBL. It's James B. Lansing, you know, from Altic Lansing Speakers. Yeah, he was part of Altec Lansing. And when he went on his own, they told him, you can't take the, the Lansing name. <laughs> he says, but I'm, I'm Mr. Lansing, right? They said, nope, sorry, you can't take the name with you. So it's JBL and with an apostrophe. James B. Lansing. All of biography I saw on the guy. The guy was just an awesome audio engineer, speaker engineer, but not a very good businessman. So, yeah, interesting story. So, I don't know whether you can tell this paint job, this didn't come out good at all. Why is it so rough? I expected the orange peel from what they tell me, and then you uh, sand it. But Got like bumps. Was that bubbles? Wrong primer. Didn't mix the paint paint properly. Didn't put it on thick enough. I don't know. Smooth here. It's rough there. I'm gonna have to sand the whole thing. I was experimenting right here. It's like, what can I do? Sand it a little and buff it? But nah, it's. I'm gonna have to go over it again. First, I gotta sand it down. Ugh. What did I do wrong? Holy smokes, you know? What can go wrong will go wrong, right? So, I started off real good sanding this. I go, okay, this shouldn't take too long. That is a lot faster than sanding by hand, right? I got to about here, and the, and the sander broke. I don't know how old the sander is, but it's Black & Decker, third sheet. <sighs> Great. But, uh, yeah, I mean, the motor works, but it's not vibrating no more, so I, it made some couple banging sounds before it went out, and a couple chunks of something came out. Uh, so I just went to Harbor Freight. I opened this one up. I got that's not the one I was looking at. This is a round one with the Velcro thing on them. I was looking at something like this in the display. So I just grabbed this box and ran out of there, right? I want to get busy. Oh man, now I gotta go back. Now I gotta go back again. Okay, guys, you can try this one more time. <laughs> it's uh, Happy Memorial Day, yeah, Monday. So, 
I primered this, I sanded this hood down once. I primered it, sanded it down again, reprimered it, sanded it again, and uh, painted it, and that came out terrible. So, a couple things I learned. We're gonna try anyway. <laughs> Thin out the paint, yeah. Thin out the paint. I didn't do that the first time, so maybe that's why it came out so bad. But now I'm running out of paint, so I think I'm only gonna be able to get one coat on this. I'll have to go buy some more. Dang it. But anyway, at least I get one good coat down. We're gonna try, because it's Monday already, and I'm getting ready. I just, I just put the, uh, it's called Reducer, yeah. It's not thinner, it's Reducer. Yeah. So this is what I did yesterday. I re-sanded the paint back down and had to touch it up some places where I cut through to the metal. But uh, yeah, so I just touched it up with some spray can, rust oleum. We'll try it again. Uh, me, measuring cups, dollar store. Got a measure. It's supposed to be eight to one on the paint. That's what they told me. So eight ounces to one of the hardener. And then this is the. It's called automotive solvent. It's a refinish solvent reducer. Urethane reducer. So I put it that all in here. Stirred it up, letting it sit a little bit. Let's see, what's it look like now? Yeah. So my problem was I put it on too thick, and you put it on too thick, it doesn't level by itself, you know? It just sits there, blob. It's terrible. I didn't know that. Found that out. So I'm going to put on the little roller. Another thing is... Another one of my mistakes is probably shaking the paint. You don't want to shake the paint. You don't want air bubbles in your paint, do you? Whoops. We'll see how this goes on. Yeah, you want to stir it. You don't want to shake it and get air bubbles in, the, in your paint. Dang you. This is all the paint I got left. So, we're going to give it a shot. I'll probably have to resand it and, and go buy some more paint tomorrow, but... At least I get one coat on. Well, it's got one coat. That blue is the first coat. It didn't come out very good. So, anyway. Looks like I'm going to have to paint it again. I think my big mistake is shaking the can instead of stirring it. That's what all them little bubbles are. Bubbles. Dope. Anyway, that's all the paint I got, so I'm gonna let it go at that. Sand it, buy some more paint, and maybe do it right one more time, right? Hello. Alright guys, <laughs> spent the morning sanding this, it is looking better, look at that color, mm-hmm, so, it's not perfect, I want to give it another coat, so I just sanded it down, look what happened, I sanded too much, uh, but I'm going to give it another coat, so, this would be the last coat, and then, uh, Look at that damn bug landing on there already. I just washed it so it'll dry right now. But man, that sure is a nice color. I like that color. We'll see how it comes out after I buff it and everything. Cross my fingers. Hopefully it looks better than it did. Not perfect, you know, it's not a showroom shine. I'm no pro at this. We'll get better on the next one, right? <laughs>